Well, hello everyone. Doing my doing my tunes impression. What's up, Tim? Uh, quick little video here. I know the angle's weird. The sound's probably bad. There's people in my house. There's gonna be noise and stuff. But what are you gonna do? I want to do a quick one. Frederick Mall. Music for a while. I got this bottle, it's been like only I think two weeks ago. It was slightly used and I have put a huge dent in this baby because I'm loving this stuff. Um, this mainly is an aromatic fougere, you know, that lavender centric aromatic fougere done in an ultra modern way with a pretty heavy dose of sweetness coming from fruity notes and a keynote of pineapple. It's almost like Frederick Mall and perfumer Carlos Benaim, Benaim, B-E-N-A-I-M, <laughs> -E um, got together and thought, how can we modernize the fougere. What can we do that's going to be modern, that's going to be on trend? You know, something for the cool kids, man. And I think they really pulled it off. I've seen that some other people, other reviewers and stuff, don't really get this. I think because it's so sweet, um, it's pretty monstrously sweet. But for me, the lavender, some of the aromatic qualities of this are perfectly matched with the sweetness to where it isn't too sweet for me. It isn't, you know, toothache inducing. It isn't cloying to me. It's it's an atomic performer, but there's something about the lavender in this and the way that some of the, the fresher, more herbal notes are used here. This doesn't get cloying on me at all. I'm, I'm loving this, man. Um, so some of the notes here are lavender, star anise, bergamot, mandarin, other fruity notes. Uh, geranium really brings a freshness to this in the heart along with the pineapple, gives it that freshness. You know, pineapple is on trend. Everybody's copying Creed Aventus because it's just a juggernaut seller that really brought niche perfumery into the spotlight over the past few years. And I don't know, for good reason. It's a cool note. It's interesting. It's, it's not... You know, it's a little different than your, your standard citrus um, or, you know, in your standard fougere where you're going to have bergamot, la the bergamot lavender combo. You've still got the bergamot, you've still got the lavender, but you've got that anise giving it this kind of herbal, you know, anise is like almost mentholated to me, that kind of licorice -y vibe. Breathes a little air in here. The geranium breathes a little air. And then in the base, you've got patchouli, Bring in the earth for everything to stand on. You've got vanilla bringing the warmth, making this a great cold weather scent. You've got the labdanum bringing that ambery goodness. Um, and then you've also got notes of sugar and caramel. Now, I don't necessarily smell like car caramel. Um, I just get that sweet, um, I think it's, I think the ingredient, it's the same sweet ingredient that you get in like Baccarat Rouge 540. That, uh, I think it's called ethyl maltol. It's that, it, it doesn't really smell like anything in particular. It just smells sweet. It smells like sugar tastes. Um, and I just, I really find this super interesting. I'm getting ready to go out um, for a birthday celebration and you know going to a restaurant and everything and i just thought this is like the perfect festive fun night out but classed up fragrance um and i mean i think that i think that's kind of it like um uh, like i said the performance is is awesome uh, i've been over spraying it even though i know it's it's going to be kind of atomic I've been overspraying it anyway, and I've I've probably gotten more compliments on this in the past two weeks than I've gotten total from fragrances in the past year. Like that's how much people are noticing it. 
partially because it's sweet. People like sweet smells. It's got that sweet, fresh thing, um, but done in a high-end way, and people can smell it. I mean, I think most of the time, compliments come because you're wearing something people can actually smell. Um, so anyway, this came out in 2018, so this is new, ultra modern. I am on the Frederick Mall bandwagon. I am, I am on the train. I think I love what Frederick Mall is doing. I love how he's curating these great scents, celebrating perfume as art, allowing the artists, the perfumers to do what they wanna do. Um, and this is just a great example of what happens when you take juggernauts like Frederick Mall, um, Carlos Benaim, I'm so bad at pronunciations of things. Um, when you get them together to, to create something that I think both gives a nod to the classic fougere while creating something new and modern. The main thing people complain about in perfumery is it's not new, it's not a new idea. There, you know, everything is being recycled and redone. And even though this uses pineapple, which is very popular, even though this uses lavender, which has recently become really, really popular. Um, the Fougere, probably the oldest men's fragrance style that there is. Uh, they've taken those old classic things and they've repurposed them and they've put them together in a way that is new, that is modern, that is interesting, that is wearable, that is enticing and, and just like super fun and enjoyable. So. I get it. I get music for a while. I think the name is cool. Um, the scent is cool. The idea is cool. And it's all good, baby. So that's it. Um, been super busy. I know I haven't been posting much. I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. I'll try to post whenever I can. I do love doing videos and talk about fragrances and everything, but uh, hey man, life comes first. So uh, there she is, music for a while. Frederick Maul, later.